Hi folks. Today I'm going to show you how to make your own homemade circuit breaker. And the circuit breaker is handy for a number of reasons. Mainly that if you're working on any projects that are power related and you don't want to be tripping the power switches in your home house electricity being able to isolate your power projects where the circuit breaker will trip rather than the trips in your mains board in your house and uh, that's a good thing so you can walk away on your own projects knowing that if anything happens this switch will trip rather than the one in your house and upset the wife and the kids if they're watching TV so basically what it is is it's a very um, it's a small case circuit breaker with an RCBO in it and this is a 20 amp RCBO so if you're getting um, if you get one of these just make sure it's probably 10 and 20 depending on your project um, if you're using power tools you want to check the actual power draw on the project you're working on and if it's more than 20 amps obviously you want to get a bigger RCBO now the job of the RCBO there's two jobs that it does one is to that if you have too much of a draw of power and you go over to 20 amps the RCBO will trip off so you can only go up to 20 amps and then it trips off that's the first job the second job is that if there's a short on the cable or there's a fault with the cable or faulty wiring or the earth might touch the live or something again it trips and it's a safety feature so there are the two jobs of of an RCBO now so what we have here is we have a 13 amp plug standard 13 amp plug we're not going to show you how to wire that because I'm sure you know how to wire a plug and you have an extension lead uh, plug-in socket on the other end so what we'll do is we'll show you the wiring of how this is done so right here on this case you have two plastic screw points so what you do is just turn them and just take the case off there so what you have is coming in from the plug you have a live and a neutral and then the air cable doesn't get wired into the RCBO it bypasses there on the side and the two words are wired together so you have live neutral from the plug and the earth running down here and then on the actual extension lead socket that comes in this side and you have live neutral and then the earth and I have a little joiner here joining the two earth cables there so that's really all it is just make sure that when you're wiring it in that you have to uh, the cables in nice and tightly and screwed down nice and tightly also with the case I've just cracked open just broke the uh, and it made a little um, hole on either end of the case so the cable could actually fit in so it fits over there like that let me just tighten that up there okay so we're going to uh, make sure this is wired properly because we want to make sure it's wired properly before we go and use it so what we'll do is we'll just plug it in and we have one of these uh, one of these testers um, and I'll tell you whether it's wired properly or not so what we do is we just plug this in and then what you see there let me show it up to the camera there is three lights which means it's wired and it tells you they're connected fused okay so if you're not getting that when you have it wired up then there's obviously there's a fault you have to check your wiring but that's how you know it's tested um, and well it's wired okay so we hope that gives you a, a little uh, understanding of how to make a circuit breaker if you want to do projects in your home where you're using household mains and power and you don't want to be tripping any switches just in case you get the wiring wrong uh, if you're not confident with electricity then obviously get a qualified person to make this and put this together